Hello everybody and welcome back to some mega modded Isaac. We're jumping in again. I have a one streak because, I don't know, for one I'm bad, but for two, no, I played a tent blue baby recently. Ooh, just got a bit of a gerb run, nice. Uh, I was playing as a uh, gerb and car. <laughs> car is, is staying around, by the way. Car is uh, is part of the streak now. Also, game over, yeah. Is that, a, is that a tainted version of the character or is that just... Do, do you know what? I've got to try it. I'm gonna guess that's a no. It ruined my streak, but it was worth trying. Right, let's go and play some Job. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna keep him. He's he's on the randomizer at a very low percent. Car is just wonderful. Also, purity off the bat with the fire rate boost on Job. Are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? The fire rate boost on Job. Oh, one moment. Okay, we are carrying on. We are carrying on. But yes, I was just just obscenely surprised at purity plus gerb. Like, my lord, this is redonkulous fire. <laughs> we are quite strong right now. Quite strong. Obviously, we could get hit and our purity is going to change, but that's negative thinking. Also, this is a room that I could very easily be hitting because, unfortunately, these enemies are particular pain. I think the main pain with these enemies... Oh, also, I apologize. I turned the music off because I was on call. I forgot to turn it back on. I knew things felt a bit weird. Um, yeah, uh, I think the main thing is that the enemies, they fart when they die, which means that they push all of the, um, they push all of the things that, that are inside them, so all the spiders and flies, a ridiculous distance. Like, it's kind of crazy how far they get pushed. I was hoping I could maybe. Do you know what? I'm gonna. I'm still tr still gonna try it. There we go. I knew I could get it. I knew I could get it. I mean, with this much money, it's not a lot, but it's enough for a soul heart or like a card, and I feel like that's like pretty good going. Even a bomb might be worth picking up at this point. Um, I'll see. I'll see. Um, nah, soul heart's available. Take the soul heart. Ooh, also, look at this little fella on top. I think I got a, a mod called like Animated Machines, which is like the other version of Animated Beggars. And it, it seems pretty good. I haven't actually tried it out yet, but we'll uh we'll see how it goes. God damn, I love how much the Book of Despair helps you. It's 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 kind of insane. But yeah this guy should be absolutely roasted and toasted pretty darn quickly. You're gonna spawn your head out, but I'm gonna kill it before it becomes a living being. You can do it again if you want, but it's just gonna die again, bud. There you go, a bit of health. Unfortunately, no way to get down to the downpour, so we'll just go on to the not, not normal path, but I might skip back over. We're meant to be doing Mega Satan on this one, so let's try and go for Angel Deals, try and remember that's what we're doing. Yeah, that's that's nuts. Job is such a strong character to start with, but so fun. I, I've said it a thousand times, but any time that you can fire more tears is always going to be even more enjoyable, because more tears is just like more DPS, it's more tier effect chance. It just, it synergizes with basically every build. Um, I know that sounds dumb because it's like a core mechanic of the game, getting higher fire rate. Of course, it synergizes with everything. But having it as like a core mechanic of the character, like Pinky Eye here. Pinky Eye is going to be so much better because we're going to be firing Pinky Eye shots more often. We do need a key for that, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know why I used it in here, but do you know what? It doesn't actually matter because the boost carries through to other rooms, so it technically doesn't mean mean anything where we're about to decide to use it. Are we going to get a key at any point? It's looking unlikely. I was going I was going to go down pod, but we haven't even got the single key that was that's required to get our item room yet. So, oh, there you go. Okay. Let's go back and see what's what. I'll grab that real quick. Another penny there as well. And what do we have? What do we have? Gutsy baby of bloody the the birth mimics. You little Ted. That does mean we get birth items though, which is rather nice. Um, I don't have to make a decision here. Uh, Gutsy Baby's pretty good. Um, he, he's like a kind of interesting one. Kind of interesting one indeed. Uh, so we'll try and, try and utilize him when we can. But yeah, you can basically sling him around. And slinging him around is going to like trail his guts along the room. He does seem to be a, a somewhat... I am very desperately trying to not get hit here. He does seem to be a somewhat laggy familiar or potentially laggy familiar just because there's a lot of shots tied to him quite literally. Um, but he's not so bad. And, and like I said, he's because he can be like dashed around 
like charged up and dashed around. He can do a really, really solid job at killing enemies. Because I think his guts have, yeah, his guts have piercing too, so... And obviously there's the creep that it leaves on the floor as well, which is even better. There's a fire rate upgrade. Of course, we ain't going Devil Deal, but we can now go to the downpour, which I'd very much like to do. So let's go that way. I just, I, at the minute, I'm really into going to the alt path floors, even if we're not going mother. Because for one, I just really enjoy them. And for two, I'm really liking the new champion bosses down here. I want to see as many of them as we possibly can. We've only seen a handful out of the 20, 30 or so that are actually in the mod. So we've still got a lot to see. So I'm still kind of on board to um, to be going to the alt paths a lot. If we get flight, we can obviously grab that um, that heart there. But right now, it's not really going well for us. But question of the day. It's a little late in the video to get into the question of the day. But we'll get into the question of the day. Um, this is kind of going to be based on what I've been doing recently. I've kind of told you guys I've been playing a lot of... Um, a lot of Tiny Tina's Wonderland. I was wondering, what's your favourite, like, fantasy setting? Do you like the whole, like, medieval shtick? Or do you like it more like Diablo, where it's like, hell's taken over Earth sort of things? Like, what, what's your favourite sort of fantasy setting for, like, for, for playing games, but also for, for other stuff? Like, for TV, um, watching, like, D, uh, playing, like, D&D &D or watching it or anything like that. What's, what's sort of the one that comes to mind? Also, I'm really liking the little animation on that, dude. It's groovy. Um... Yeah, I'm always, I'm always curious to, to hear with stuff like that. I I personally really like sort of the the kind of generic fantasy with like the castles and everything and the dragons. I don't know why, that, that one always speaks to me. Um, I actually spent a really long time, and I mean a really long time, uh, in Planet Coaster when that first came out. If you, if you, those of you who remember, Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster, some fantastic sort of more new age or modern... Um, park builders, one of them obviously for a zoo and one of them for a theme park, um, and, and they were really, 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 really good, and they also gave the players a uh, just redonkulous amount of freedom compared to a lot of the other ones. Okay, we are without keys right now. Uh, do you know what? Because we're without keys right now, let's just go and do some um, reverse floors. Uh, yeah, and the they had themings for, for different uh, parks and stuff, and one of the themes, they had a lot of uh, tile set pieces that you could use. Um, for creating fantasy, and that meant sort of the whole dragons, um, the, the whole dragons and castles and everything, and I spent a hell of a long time building a very, very small park, and it didn't end up being all that big, just because I was spending so long detailing every part of it, so each, each part, each building, each ride was taking me like a good four or five hours, maybe longer. Um, so it did end up being a quite, um, a quite long project for me. And I think, I think it actually took me, uh, in total just over 50 hours to create the amount of park that I created. And honestly, I'm, I'm pretty damn proud of how it came out. Um, I don't know why I'm bothering to do extra rooms here. Probably a bad idea now. I've got a key. Um, yeah, I'm, I, no, actually, we do need another bomb, so maybe, maybe we'll carry on. Um, I'm really, really proud of how it ended up turning out. Like, I think it ended up being really good. How does this work, then? Are these guys just going to fly off? Yeah, they are good. Uh, it ended up being really, really good, and I've got, like, screenshots of it on my um, on my Steam page. I think they're live for anyone to view. So if, if any people do want to see that, I really regret coming into this room now. And to see, having seen that enemy, but luckily it's okay. Yeah, uh, if any people want to see that, I think they're live on my Steam page. Anyone can view them. They're public. And, yeah, I'm still really, really proud of that. I think it, I think it turned out very very well okay one last room gotta be careful for these boys because they do have the uh the old belching habits so unfortunately no extra bomb we might be able to buy them from the shop if we care to uh right let's just go back this way and yeah I, I, i'm gonna say it was just it was so enjoyable like because the game was like had a lot of customization it had a lot of oh, i should have used the flight to get the uh the extra soul heart there shouldn't i um I still technically could. Let's go do it. Um, yeah. And, like, some of them, because you can be so custom with them, I made some really interesting pieces. Like, uh, two of the things I made that I ended up uploading to the workshop, because you could, like, upload your creations. Two of the things I made were, one of them was a stable. Uh, essentially, the game had, like, different wooden planks and stuff like that that you could use. Um, why am I still the Lost? I thought coming out of the mirror made you not the Lost. Am I mistaken here? Maybe I am. Um, let's go to the cash room while we're in lost form. Why not? Wait. Do we have our mantle right now? 
Okay, we know we do, we do, we do. It's at the top left there. Oh, I'm very, very glad I went in here. Very, very glad I went in here. Okay. Okay, I'm happy. Right, secret room. Let's go down. Oh, it's a secret room with a reroll machine. <laughs> Couldn't ask for anything better. Right, so first of all, let's check if our item room. God damn, this is this is some good stuff. Um Sad Onion. I think Sad Onion's good. Like more tears up is just incredible for us. And honestly, I'm not even gonna check the shop because I'd rather use my money on rerolls here. Um, at least for now. So let's pop this bad boy. Sinister chalk. Interesting item, but not what not for us. There it is. Rock bottom, baby. <laughs> also, rock bottom. Just FYI is pretty insane for us because we can no longer lose the fire rate buffs. So I'm just going to quickly check in here now. Um, donation machines? I don't really care about that. I'll open that up and see what we get. Got a golden key out of it. It's kind of interesting. Just going to bomb this and get some money. Why not? Oh my god. <laughs> the bombed donation machine is creepy. I'm sorry, fella. I'm sorry. But yes, uh, rock bottom run. <laughs> nice. We've actually got a pretty interesting character. Also, purity just became a whole lot better. Because now, if we get hit, it, it literally it doesn't matter. Because we, we always keep all of the buffs from purity. So it's, it's actually encouraged for us to get hit and get all of the purity buffs we can. Because we keep them all. And... We just got perfection too, which is plus 10 luck that we'll never lose. <laughs> oh, this is a beautiful day. A beautiful day. Also, I hate glass eye with uh, with Joe. That does not look pleasant. God damn. Oh, there was a tin drop there. Oh, I don't have a bomb anyway, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, this is this has become quite a quite a crazy run now. Quite a crazy run. But yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty much in the market now to get hit. So I'm not gonna get hit on purpose, but I don't care if I do. I don't want to waste my HP here, but at the same time, I couldn't care less when I do get hit. I can't believe we got uh, perfection there as well. That was so perfect. So if I use my Book of Despair now, yeah, it's not going to do anything. The only way we can get buffs out of Book of Despair now is by using it multiple times in a single room, which of course isn't super likely, but if we manage to get ourselves um, a few batteries here and there, it's possible. We got ourselves a savage heart and a golden heart. Um, yeah, but you know what? I'll do this. The bombs are nice, and we kind of need keys as well, but we didn't get any keys. We might get one from the room reward. You never know. So this is potentially a room that we could use more, use it in multiple times. But I, I didn't think of it prior, so I don't think it's gonna work. Also, we got hit, which is like I said, good. Because now whatever purity decides to give us will be a new permanent buff. So let's hope for damage early on, but we'll see. So we actually got fucking fire rate again, which now does absolutely nothing for us. So we really don't want the fire rate boost anymore. I didn't mean to get hit there, but like I said, it's kind of fine that we got hit. So this time we got speed, and that's going to be permanent speed for us again. Please give us some keys. Damn, we're getting kind of unlucky. Um, shot speed down, doesn't matter. Yeah, we're getting kind of unlucky now. Oh, hello. Create some mega explosion in the current room. Nice. Oh, we should uh we should maybe just go to the go to here and uh grab whatever this might be. We got the red map. Reveals the location of ultra secret rooms. Any trinkets left in boss rooms stairs with crack key. Nice. I think it also doesn't okay, it doesn't drop a crack key. Um Interesting. So any trinkets left in boss rooms, we, we might as well leave the pinky eye. It's good, but it's like not as good as uh, the possibility of a red item. Oh, can I get some keys, please? Oh, also, actually, actually thinking about it. Yeah, I was just about to say this um, rainbow worm that comes with quite a lot of stat increases from various things. Shot speed, fire rate, otherwise. Um, God damn, we need keys so bad. Shot speed, fire rate, otherwise. So I think... Um, Playing it like this is the best. Okay, so now if I, if I do this, I go pop this and then grab that. Oh, that charged, charged the wrong thing. I'm an idiot. Doesn't matter. Uh, I will buy this though. Hell no, scratcher. Right. I can't believe how lacking we are on keys this run. It's weird. 
I think we've seen every single iteration of Rainbow Worm now. I think. I don't know how many ro uh, how many thingy hearts I'm willing to, to grab. Yeah, we, we've definitely seen them all now. The bomb, good. How about a key, the? Oh, hello. Oh, he looks awesome. He looks just awesome. Oh, we did get a key. Okay, when, when did we get that key? Sometimes I say, like, oh, if we, if we only had a key, and then I realize I actually had one the whole time. I don't know when I picked that up. Oh, there's another one too. Okay. We're good now. We're good. Uh, right, so. Let's go back over here. Deadeye is incredible because it's just a flat times two damage up. Like, once we hit maximum, it'll never... We, we are getting some insanely good items for this, by the way. Unfortunate that other one ended up being a red heart. I kind of want some more health before I end up using magic skin again. Um, and I think I'm okay with getting this now. Right, so drop this. Yeah, so now we've just got double damage all the time. <laughs> Like, our tears are still going to get red from Deadeye, but the, the damage increase is now just tied to us. Just stop getting hit. But I, I got hit, though, so it, I was going to say I need to stop getting hit, but at the same time, it actually works out because we're going to get another purity boost, as long as it's a different one to one of the ones we've already gotten. We unfortunately can't just get that one over and over and over again. That isn't going to work. God, these stonies are hella annoying. Putting stonies on this wave is, is not good. Oh, for God's sake. Shouldn't have hit me. It's okay. I don't think Mamma Mega Explosions um, work like Chaos Cards do on this boss, unfortunately, but that would would have been a good idea. Ooh, I just realized something. We're going to have to use our Mamma Mega Explosion in here because we need our key piece and we don't have any bombs. Revelation is pretty incredible. Thank you. Um, yeah, so let's just use this. It's a bit of a waste of it. I would have liked to have used it for something else, but we need the key piece. And we don't have, um, what's it called? Any good way of doing so? Get the cracked key there. Okay, nice. Grab that again. Okay, we can go in here now. Nice. Go in here. And then do that. Oh, there was enemies in here. Shit. I didn't realize. Ah! Where are you, creatures? Spookers of the night. Nice. Um, Ultra Flesh Kid. Familiar that chases enemies and deals contact damage similar to the leech. Has three stages. Collect red hearts to evolve. Total 15 hearts to fully evolve. I like it. Sounds good. Oh, there's a red heart here you can collect. Did you get that one? You got it. You got it. Right. I will do another pop of magic skin here, I think. Yeah, I can't get the speed down, so it's all good. Oh, suck up that heart. There you go. So now, so far, he's got three, I think. And there's his fourth. Got him. And down we go again. I am loving this run. This, is, this run is, is pretty insane. There's no need to use our book whatsoever now. Pills are like whatever. Oh, gulp. Gulp's pretty good for us. Okay, good. Need a bomb here. Yeah, that's quite a lot of bombs, that is. You can give us some money too. Oh, really? God damn. Please give me some keys, actually. Keys are very much what I require right now. All these spiders. Go away. Damn you, fool. Now I need the red health. Let's keep her going. I'll see if I can drop another trinket, but obviously I gulped the one that I had, so I can't exactly drop that one. <laughs> I was planning on it, actually. That's the funny thing. I was planning on dropping that one. I didn't really care about it. And the game was like, nah. <laughs> You're stuck with that one. Q. 
kit. Some extra bombs. We got pinball is kind of crazy. Yeah, there you go. Some pinballs every now and again. Um, I will take the little battery fellow for hopes of batteries for my book of despair. So that I can pop that a few more times and get a slightly higher bonus. I think. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm working in theory here. I don't actually know for sure if that'll work, but I'm pretty sure it will. Beautiful. Oh, I love the pinballs here. This is great. You got another red heart going. Good, good. Golden bombs. Beautiful. And our secret room. Nice. Righty her then. Let's pop this again. This time we got. Is Cursed Eye a secret room item? Or is that something to do with super secret rooms? That I ain't taking it. I'm sorry, but. That is a broken heart that is unfortunately. Not one I'd, uh, not one I'd care for. Oh, this is a champion version. He is very, very grey with red eyes. I'm not exactly sure what he does. Oh, he spawns different flies. Easier flies. Good for me. Can't complain for me. Nice. More fire right here. Okay. I'm gonna steal that up, kid. Thank you. And that was a devil deal. We don't want devil deals. We want angel deals. Um, I will go mausoleum. Because I basically just gained that health back. We do not have a trinket to leave around, unfortunately. So I think we're just out of here. And goddamn, yeah. I'm having a good run. I just can't believe the amount of items we've got that work so unbelievably well with um, Rock Bottom. Deadeye, Purity, um, the Perfection... It's, 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 it's great. Reasonably happy with that. I would have preferred to have gotten a key back, but I can't hope for everything every time. Okay. I think we've gotten all the purity boosts now as well. We got the, uh, every enemy in the room explodes, taking damage. The, the explosion can hurt you too. Every enemy that dies from the explosion will give you a temporary damage boost. Oh, this could be so good for us if we get a good room. Temporary damage up. Haha. <laughs> the D12. D12's actually better now, but I still don't think it's worth swapping for uh, what we've got going on. Right, we need a room with just an unfathomably high amount of enemies. I need to be like a bunch of flies or something. We'll see what we end up getting. Don't know how I didn't get hit there. Wow. This is an unfathomably high. Ow. Perfection's helping us out, though. It's okay. Even though we don't have it anymore, but it's still helping us out. Lots of chests to open. Come on, my little fella. Dude, can you seriously not fly? God damn it, dude. You fool. It's right there. Just grab it. I get why you can't grab this one, but the other one? Also, we need some HP, like, pretty soon. We are slightly lacking. Oh my lord. He ate a lot of that. <laughs> Can you eat this? Yes, you can. Okay. We'll keep you growing up. If we can. Extra key. Come on, room with a lot of enemies. Where are you? I want my temporary damage boost. That's not enough. Might have to wait until the next floor. We'll have to see. I like these animated machines. They're cool. Dude, can you... Why doesn't he not seek out the hearts? It's really annoying. I have to, like, drag them towards him. Ooh, okay. Uh, tiny term and a thank you. Whirling leech is good, but not good enough. Slip rib, again the same. I'm fishing. Hey, Book of Jubilees. Very happy with Book of Jubilees. 
Car battery is scary, but yes. Uh, we also got one of these machines, which are kind of rare. These give us familiars. We got ourselves the gluttonous soul. Grab that as well. Wait, so now I can... Ah, oh, I don't think car battery helps with that either. Bunch of room full of those guys of work. Okay, looks like we're saving it for the next floor so far. Uh, also, you suck up this. There you go. You get in there. You get in there. Can we go back to that other room and you grab them now that you can fly? I think you can fly. You look like you can. Oh, you can suck stuff over the gaps. I'm going to guess so. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Yeah, look, he can suck stuff over gaps now, so... He has almost fully evolved. I love the pinballs with this. It's so good. Right. Let's go. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but I'm going to accept it. And there you go. You've been, you've been bested, fella. Grab me some of that. And to the next floor. Okay. This is where we hope we can get a huge pull from our cane of wrath. Canine of wrath. That is not enough. That's the good so hearts. You've got to be like one heart off now, right? There's been so many hearts that you've taken. Okay, big room. Big room coming up. Let's, let's get ready. There we go. Okay. Unfortunately terrible. It's like three enemies. Huge room, only three enemies. Book of Jubilees paying out. Nice. We need a lot more HP before we use our uh, magic skin again because we've got it car battery did now. Car battery did? Car battery. Ow. Okay. I mean, I suppose I could leave one of those portals to just endlessly generate enemies for me. Teleports you to a vault outside. Ooh, interesting. Do you not pick up hearts anymore? Looks like it not. Right. Nice. Okay. We are in a vault. Is that what you call the double locked rooms? They call vaults. I never knew that. Oh my lord. This is giving us a lot. <laughs> not that we need money, but still. Hey, there you go. HP up as well. Excuse me? It turned into a blank room. What the hell? Well, that's no fun. <laughs> it wasn't a blank room before. That's just evil. God damn it. Okay, so we lost out on that opportunity. I will report that to the developer when I can. Okay. Still haven't seen that item room here, but at least now we're not looking for a room full of enemies. Right. If we can get, like, I think two more soul hearts, I'd be okay to use magic skin. So I am gonna... Oh, are you kidding? What? Did Gutsy Baby move that? You little shit. I, I placed the bomb and maybe walk right back into it, you dick. Unfortunately, we're not getting many trinkets right now, so we can't really make use of uh, the red map all that much, which is just, which is a shame because red map's a lot of fun. Okay, we got Mother Spy. I'm gonna take the other. We got rosary. Do you know what? Obviously, the tears up don't matter, but the three soul hearts, I gotta say, they certainly do. And fuse cutter. There's our. Um... Oh, we can't get back to the floor though on this map, so that doesn't really matter. Uh. Let's check the secret room, wherever it might be. Gutsy baby, why do you move, why do you even move bombs? You shouldn't move bombs. It makes no sense that you do. I don't like it. Right, secret room. Where exactly are we looking for secret room? 
Glit okay, so that's that's a lot of luck. And Glitch Crown is uh, is pretty good. <laughs> Not that we have many other items coming up, but Glitch Crown is still going to help. Right. Let's go kill the boss. So we're at max HP at half HP, which is a little scary. But we do kill stuff exceedingly quickly, so it's not as big of an issue as you'd think. There's our second angel deal. Good, good. Um, 23 minutes, so we'll take this. Go in here. Ooh, okay. I think we definitely want Holy Mantle here. Which is after the mind. Yeah. There you go. Good, good. We also got Seraphim out of that. Nice. Ow. Okay. And then I will check boss rush just to see. Because it's like if there's a... Ri oh, so spinning wheels in here. <sighs> Soy milk is in here. You see, it's like... I've got a question. Would soy milk actually increase my fire rate, like, at all? I, I feel like I have to pick it up just to find out. Wait. Does soy milk lower all the future damage ups we get? I don't care. I'm going to try anyways. So it's after the tank, boys. It, it gave us a pretty huge tears up. Good. Okay. Okay. It did indeed work. Went up to 34 tiers. I feel it's, it's pretty damn good. Do you know what would really go very, very well with this run? And I mean very, very well. Uh, piercing. Piercing would be awesome with this setup. Also, we might even be able to get, potentially, more out of Book of Despair here because of the wave basedness, so we're going to be able to actually get more charges. I don't know for sure if I'm right about that, but I feel like we might be able to get a bit of, might be able to eke a little bit more out of this. Oh my god, we kill stuff so fast. We'll see. I'm just going to keep popping Book of Despair whenever it's ready and seeing if it works. I kind of highly doubt it will, but it might. Oh, beautiful. Pins about as well. Yep, there you go. Yeah, Glitch Crown helping out quite a lot there. This has been a truly epic rock bottom run. We've gotten a many, many things that are incredibly good for rock bottom. And even just the character as a base is very good for rock bottom. It's one of the only characters that rapidly changes its stats quite a lot, or one of its stats, I think at least. There's probably a few more out there that, that I'm not thinking of, but it's the one that comes to mind. Right, so it should be pretty quick to get through the whole of Boss Rush here. I, I don't know how much left we've got. I, I used to have the Boss Rush Wave Counter mod on, but I don't have it on anymore. Because like, I kind of like in Boss Rush not knowing how many waves you've got left. I feel like that's kind of like an intentional piece of design. And I, I, like, I get that it's only a small thing, but I kind of like not knowing. After, you, after having used the other one for a while, I, yeah, I just decided, you know what? I kind of prefer it without it. Okay. So it seems the flesh kid like splits into two halves once you get into a certain level. He's got a head that goes around and leaves a bunch of creep. And then he's also got a body that jumps around and spews shots out. Okay, I think we've got like two more waves left. Nope, that was the last one. Okay. Um... I think we got to go for D-pad here. So D-pad's after Fire Mind, right? Yeah. So Fire Mind, D-pad. Because D-pad isn't going to change our stats, but it does give us like bouncy shot if we fire this way, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, and I think we just got to get out of here. Um, and we are going down. I think, unfortunately, we're at the point now where we can't use magic skin anymore. So we will just carry on doing as we do. But yeah, firing in certain directions give different buffs. Oh god, planting a bomb like this is going to be, yeah, not easy. God, the fact that Gutsy Baby can move bombs is very annoying. 
I might take advantage here and um, and utilize my the boss room to get myself a red key and uh, go get to the the red map room. I think it could be a good idea. But yeah, if you just like keep rapidly switching your firing mode, you can give yourself a bunch of different buffs on your tiers. Intriguing. I don't think there's anything here I want. I mean, we've we've got essentially unlimited money for these guys, so why not try this? I just want a battery themed item. I don't really care about the charges, mate. We've already seen that our thingy is useless. Oh my god, come on, dude. These these guys are so bad for paying out with items. I'd love to know what their chances are of paying out with items. Like, this guy has now taken basically all of my money. And he hasn't given one item. Okay, there you go. He finally gives one. Um, I think Broken Mask is probably the best one to take here. Which is... After this, I think. Yeah, it's after the bag. Because this is going to maybe give us a... Yeah, there you go. Going to give us a transformation or two. Give us Bookworm. That just makes it so that it requires one less item for a transformation to happen. Nice. Fireman from a fire in this way. A little bit scary, but I kind of like it. I always like firing right, though. Right is rubber cement, and that's, that, that's my jam. Okay, the boss room's actually really far away, so I don't think I'm going to bother going all the way back for the red room. I think with Holy Mantle, we're pretty much set to go for the rest of this run here. Holy Mantle means that despite having reasonably low health for the cathedral, we don't really have to worry. I could probably even go a little bit lower and use um, magic skin a bit more, but I don't want to push my luck. I think we've already gotten more than lucky enough right now. What was that there? That was a... Adds one broken heart and removes a random item from your inventory. Spawns three. Um, it could remove rock bottom. So, no. <laughs> I don't think we need that. It could also give us the R key or something, but still. How on earth did the bomb manage to get... I find it over the top of the rocks. How? Oh, I... okay, we've got a soul heart there now if we need it. Do you know what? You can have magic skin, sir, because I do not need it. This does actually, yeah, I was just about to say, does actually mean I'll probably just get magic skin back. <laughs> but, there you go. Uh, can I pop the devil card to get some damage? No. I had to try it, because why not? Beautiful, you've been wrecked. But yeah, I might get more magic skins now out of my items from the chests on the next floor, which isn't great. I should have thought about that, but what's done is done, I guess. But you're going to get one run for, from you. But it's not going to do you much good. Let's go. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'm hoping I don't just get a ton of magic skins here, but I very much could. One second. Mega Satan. Oh, didn't mean to pick that up. So we did get some magic skins in here, unfortunately. Um, I think Tech 2 is a really good pickup. Uh, it's after typeset. Just because we don't get any of the damage downs from it, like, we just get the laser for free. Ooh, Shielded Tears is, is incredible here. Magic skin, empty, okay, so empty. Lost contact. And then here, I kind of don't really care. I think Aquarius, I guess? After magic skin, I think. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, it's a uh, champion reap creep. Very cool, but very dead. Smelt a trinket for a soul heart. 
think I'm okay, thank you. Some more champion boys here. Sprinkler. I think it's after magic skin again. Sprinkler. Uh, does it, I guess I, does it adopt our fire rate? Seems like it does. Also, because it's constantly firing in different directions, it adopts the different effects. It's pretty cool. Don't really care what I get here. All the look pretty trash. Um, Mum's Raze is actually a good pickup here. After Danger Room. I'm getting really good at picking stuff up on time here. Yeah, Mum's Raze is actually a fantastic... Uh, familiar now. It went from terrible to pretty damn good. Yeah, I'm clearing the floor here because we've got quite a lot of reason with the amount of luck we have. Oh, broken monstrous. Whoopsie. More magic skin, I guess. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> I destroyed your army in a single swoop. I'm going to be coming back this way. That's why I'm leaving all the chests. Yeah. Um, we might as well go for Loki's horns here. Which is after Tonsil. There you go. Because we got the luck for it to proc pretty often. Ooh, we want the, the U here. Whatever that's called. That comes after Mongo Baby? Yeah, Mongo Baby. Got it. Good old Snake Tears. There's a bed there that we don't need, but it's there. Serpent's Kiss is pretty funny here. Driftwood. It comes after Driftwood. Damn it. And there you go. Serpent's Kiss. Easy. Some extra bombs. This has been a really fun run, hasn't it? Really fun run. <laughs> and there's that boss. Can get a little bit more before going for him. I feel like we could end up crashing the game here. Ooh, Dunn's Cap is uh, a pretty interesting one. Jaff all of air, okay. Dunn's Cap. There you go. <laughs> a few more tiers to be fired. There's always more tiers to be fired. Beautiful. Line them up and knock them down. Chariot is whatever. Goddamn 34.58 year it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Oh, I got fruitcake by accident. I don't know how that happened, but I'm, I'm pretty happy for it. Holy hell. Right, let's go. I think we're I think we're about ready. Fruitcake definitely was the seal of fate that I needed. This is definitely, like, crash-worthy, but I'm going to use the sprinkler. Ooh, and he just gave me another charge for it, too. Oh, uh, not actually quite. I forget it's a four-room charge. Oh god, this is 100% crash territory, this. Oh, lord. I didn't actually exit and save before the fight, either. Bad idea. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm not, I'm not even shooting. I haven't shot in a while. <laughs> Somehow, Sprinkler is doing all of this on his own. Although, I, I, I gotta say, I can't tell what's going on. Are we, do, are we not dealing a lot of damage, or is the game just moving so slow that it cannot progress to the next phase of the fight, and so it, it's capping our damage to him? I think that's more so the case. We are uh, witnessing what I would call a complete slideshow right here. Oh, I also forgot we have car battery, so there's actually two sprinklers down there, not one. Yeah, that's something I, I, I forgot about. It's kind of cool that Sprinkler gets a, a, new, a unique sprite when it's using Loki's horns. 
I forget about that. I think it does the same shot, same thing with triple shot as well in 2020. And maybe quad shot? I don't know. This guy might hit me, so I'm gonna. Oh, I was gonna try and move. I think, yeah, I think we're at the whim of the sprinkler essentially now. It's not in our hands anymore. Look how long I've been invincible for. This is kind of going to show just how laggy this is right now. Like how much would be on screen had he ever actually been firing at, uh, had it actually be running at normal frame rate. It'd be ridiculous. Like look how far away that angel is and it's still having trouble. I was like, where are all these electric shots coming from? But I think it's just fruitcake. It's kind of insane. Oh, there you go. There goes his health. Look at his health bar. There it goes. And, ladies and gentlemen, it's gone. It's the game somehow holding together still. Somehow. It's running at, like, four frames per second, but it, it's, it's trying. I quite literally haven't moved this entire fight since I put down the sprinkler pretty much. God damn, just, just witness how long this animation's taking. That, that proves how slow it's running. God damn, this animation normally takes like two seconds. It's been going for like a minute. <laughs> This guy doesn't have immunity faces on this bit, so once once his head is locked in place and he starts shooting. By the way, this is a section where we could easily take damage because the, he just fires a lot, so... Rip us in that scenario, but at the same time, his health bar is dropping pretty heckin' quickly, so... I, I'm not actually certain that he could even kill us if he wanted to. I think that... Our sprinkler will kill him before we die, even if he keeps hitting us. So I'm essentially just going to pretend that he doesn't exist and hope for the best. I could actually go and get that battery and plant down another sprinkler, but I am near certain that would instantly crash the game. This is this is just what you get when, when you mess with rock bottom. This is probably one of the most flagship rock bottom runs I've ever had, where... So many different things tied into our stats and the increases that we got. Even, even in the really early game. Truly a very enjoyable experience. Even when I'm AFKing right now. Like, I actually... I was just about to say, I don't think he's shooting, but I, I think more so the case is I forgot we had shielded tiers. And there's so many of them on screen that his tiers physically cannot exist. Right, now's the hard part. We've got to get in the chest. <laughs> We've got to somehow get in the chest. Because it's not like the sprinkler just stops firing when he's dead. Unfortunately, no. The chest has to spawn. And we have to try and get in it. If if a void portal spawns, that is. It might just take us straight to cutscene, which would be honestly far preferable. Nope, there's the chest. Is it going to be easy? Okay, it was actually quite easy. There you go, we're in. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. What a fantastic little run. I'll see you guys in the next one.